It started when I, uh, I made a tribute for my late grandmother. Uh, God bless her soul. Um, yeah, it started there and then from there, when I was doing it, I feel like it's sort of meditative in a way, you know, so I just kept doing it. And then that's when the uh, local newspaper magazine saw it and they made stories of it. When creating the sand art, all I need is the garden rake. It's, it acts like my brush or my pencil and uh, a really good tide forecast because I have to do the, the drawings uh, on really uh, damp or wet sand. So I have to look out for the, the tide movement you know, during the day or before I'm going to do the sand art. And I'm also rushing to finish uh, a piece because the tide will come up in, in like an hour or so. I get my inspirations from uh, almost everyday life, people that you see, you know, uh, things that you see, uh, stories that you've read. So all these things can be an inspiration to, to the sand art. I've been doing sand art in the UAE for more than two years now, I guess. For now, I really, really love doing it here and I can't think of anywhere else uh, that where I will do it, you know. Uh, UAE for me is home at the moment, so yeah, I'll, I'll be doing it for quite a long time. <laughs>